The Farmer's Market on 3rd Street in Fairfax in Los Angeles has been a favorite destination since 1934. Featuring dozens of restaurants, produce stalls, souvenir shops, and an array of cuisines in an open-air market setting. Farmer's Market has kept its town square appeal by offering a variety of artisan foods, seasonal produce, and one of the city's top attractions. The market has been part of local history and culture in the heart of Los Angeles, with many family-owned businesses operated over generations. The market has American, Brazilian, French, Italian, Japanese, Middle Eastern, Mexican, and many other kinds of cuisines to offer visitors. The market is full of activity as visitors sample a dizzying array of food options available seven days a week. It's a great way to spend a day with a lot of excellent food. Sample gourmet cheeses, handmade ice cream, exotic spices, or imported teas. Various shops offer unique items that you can't find anywhere else in the city. Owned by the Gilmore family for more than six generations, the area began as a dairy farm in 1880. Two entrepreneurs, Roger Delheim and Fred Beck, asked the owner of the dairy farm, Arthur Gilmore, if they could have local farmers park their trucks on a vacant five-acre lot to sell their fresh produce to local residents. So, in 1934, the Los Angeles Farmers Market started when local farmers gathered their trucks on Gilmore's dairy farm to sell their goods to the local community. Only farmers who grew their own crops were permitted at the market, each agreeing to sell only fresh picked produce. Originally called the Farmers Public Market, the idea was successful from the start. Within months after it opened, farmers and merchants began building permanent stalls as a more convenient way to sell their produce. The cost to run a space was 50 cents a day. With the popularity of the market came new restaurants that soon started to spring up. A Hollywood favorite, movie stars and other luminaries have shared their affection for Farmer's Market. The Beatles visited McGee's Nut Shop as well as President Dwight Eisenhower who enjoyed the peanut butter machine. Ava Gardner shopped for hats at the market while Shirley Temple drew a crowd at Brock's Candies in 1936. A windmill was erected at the market in 1934 and served as its marketing icon until 1952 when it was replaced by a clock tower. The clock tower which overlooks the main entrance to the market, has been welcoming visitors since it was built more than 70 years ago. When the Grove, a popular outdoor shopping mall, was built next to Farmer's Market in 2002, the Plaza and North Market was added to the layout. The clock tower was disassembled, fully restored, and moved to its current location with brand new clockworks. While the market has continued to grow, it has retained its quaint style becoming over the years a must-see destination for locals and visitors from around the world and a favorite place for families to shop and eat. Monsieur Marcel Bistro is a French restaurant, a place to get fancy. The Bistro serves oysters, caviar, sea urchins, king crab legs, and other luxurious items. Monsieur Marcel's also has a gourmet market considered a top LA gourmet food destination. A European style cafe and restaurant that offers specialty foods, spices, and sauces in one of Southern California's best chocolate collections. Its cheese and wine selections provide foodies with specialties you can't find anywhere else in Los Angeles. Dupar's restaurant has been around almost as long as the market itself. A Southern California classic, the first Dupar's restaurant was established at Farmer's Market by James Dunn and Edward Parsons, naming the restaurant after themselves in 1938. Famous for its pancakes, generations have enjoyed breakfast here and the pancakes are still a bestseller. Some believe the term comfort food was created to describe this beloved diner. 
At Farm Boy Produce, you'll find fabulous melons and seasonal fruits, all fresh and beautiful. You'll find great vegetables, potatoes, onions, lettuce, everything that a vegetarian or anyone else could hope to find in a produce market. Kaylin and Kaylin Pickles takes pickles to a whole other level, offering 13 different varieties with different sizes to meet your needs, providing very crunchy pickles with happiness with every crunch. Nona's Empanadas is one of the most popular stops at the market, offering the largest selection of baked empanadas in town, from traditional Argentine empanadas to others with unique fillings like macaroni and cheese and Philly cheesesteak. Another popular eatery at Farmer's Market is Pampas Grill. The menu is Brazilian barbecue specialties, mostly carne, including sausage, bacon-wrapped chickens, and steaks. Pampas Grill brings traditional flavors of Brazil to Los Angeles, with pitmasters roasting a variety of carne with everything cooked to perfection using the traditional Brazilian dining experience with patrons paying by the pound and only what they eat. The farmer's market continues to be an historical landmark and a popular attraction for visitors and locals alike. While a farmer's market generally involves local growers selling fruits, nuts, vegetables and flowers, others offer homemade goods of hard to find artisan specialties. While well, Farmer's Market draws produce shoppers with vendors selling fruits, vegetables, meats, and flowers, it's the open-air food court with restaurants, bakery, ice cream parlors, and businesses that sell candies, nuts, and treats that draws everyone else. Whether you're in the mood for casual dining on the market's charming patios or ready to enjoy an exquisite sit-down meal, LA's Farmer's Market is a great place to get together with family and friends and just enjoy life.